What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Kevin to turn on this motherfucking YouTube shit. What's up? What's up? What's up? It's show boy. Can't tell me to do shit. Hey man, say man, we are lit, eh? Lit that team, man. Turn, 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 turn. Today, it's one freaking day. Stay with us our big crib in the game. Now side shit, man. Hey man, say man, free Palestine, free Congo. Russia do your thing and take the stand the fuck up. These days, new day to be a better version of yourself. Never let somebody tell you who you never let somebody bring you down. I always fight back. Never let somebody tell you who you are. But also never put yourself in a position you don't belong. Hey man, say man, like and subscribe to your videos, man. Stay on this revolution, on this movement, man. Come to you as a black Hebrew Israelite, as a real Jew, man. Black American, man, you know what I'm saying? Hey! We ought to have that confidence, you know what I'm saying, to be who we are, have faith in Yahweh, and hey, life will get better no matter how much ups and downs you go through, man. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Let's get into it. All right. <coughs> Today, come on, fucking day. Stay with Northside. Big crib in the game. Northside. All right, gang. I'm so fucking mad, man. Um. For the last past few videos, gang, my fucking commentary on my videos has been cut off. You know what I'm saying? And I know if I would have my commentary through the whole thing of the video, it would have been some banging comedy gold. But I can't, and, and you know, I can't make no excuses. I just fucked up. You know, I went to jail and I came back out and I, and I just forgot to put my voice thing on that bitch. And it's like, I can't make no excuses about how the views look because I had videos where I didn't have my voice on it. I didn't have my face on some of them. And they went fucking platinum. You know what I'm saying? But you know how it goes, man. I, you know, I got to get better. You know what I'm saying? That's just what they, at the end of the day. So let's talk about this shit, man. Rick Ross, man. Man, Rick motherfucking Ross and Drake, man. This video is going to be a whole different video. We might say that video for our next video. But we, this is, y'all don't understand, this is going to be a, a whole nother video, nigga. So now I got to push that video back to make, to, for this video. Uh, Rick Ross, it was, no, it was no secret. He don't fuck with Drake. You know what I'm saying? When, when the Kendrick Lamar beef came out, he's most definitely with Kendrick. They not like us. You know what I'm saying? It's as simple as that. You know what I'm saying? They not like us. And so, when uh, Rick Ross, you know what I'm saying, he's very spoken. You know what I'm saying? And he'll speak his mind. We, you know, we that's what we do. You know what I'm saying? And last week we was talking about how, you know, the real Rick Ross, how he stole his identity and all that shit. You know how that goes, man. I, You know, I think the whole industry knows that, man. At the end of the day, man, like I said, man, it's a doggy dog world, man. And it's like, I'll be mad if somebody stole my identity three, man. So I believe it like that, you know what I'm saying? And just, hey, just keep it pushing, man. We all we all know what it is, gang. You know, when I first jumped on the on the scene, I told I I've been said what it was. So Rick Ross went to damn Canada. You know what I'm saying? Hey you crudy. Maple syrup head ass, moose head ass. So they went to motherfucking Canada. And, you know, I don't know what Rick Ross was doing down there. I don't know if he was trying to promote some of his music or he was just trying to talk shit. But, them motherfucking Crodies were not playing out there. knocked out. I'm not laughing at Rick Ross and his downfall because, you know, anybody can get into a situation and their downfall can be, a, you know what I'm saying, down bad at any moment in life. You know what I'm saying? I'm not laughing at the moment. I'm laughing at the situation. The situation is crazy. You know what I'm saying? 
And you know, so we got the video of what went down. And we got the video of the celebrities reacting to it, man. So, you know, a lot of people have something to say about it. So I hope y'all like, subscribe. Shout out to 9 Mag TV, man. You know what I'm saying? I get a lot of my videos from 9 Mag TV. And you know, um, you know, they, they hey, they got it. You know what I'm saying? So, and you know, they've been letting me watch their videos and react to them. They haven't really said nothing. So it's like, shout out to 9 Mag TV. And let's get into this bitch. reacts to Rick Ross incident in Canada during conversation with Key Sweat. You know what I'm saying? You saw that? Yeah. Like, it happened in Canada, Rick Ross got f***ed up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's insane. That yeah. 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 Oh, his bodyguards need to resign. Uh -huh. they, they that's insane. The number one thing. They ain't got no body body. It's who they own. That's I mean, what? That's they insane. Now, that means they can't let them in. Yes, they ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Something ain't right. Yeah, I think that's going on. Some sun, sun, some sun, sun just yeah, ain't yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? That's insane. I can do this fuck all day, y'all. People must have made right. Yo, 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 maybe those, let me, let me just, that's that Harlem Hunt 25th Street, that man. Yeah, yeah, I went to the 
Bro, how the fuck did that even happen? <laughs> that nigga hit that nigga in the head with a cup, you got, you got and that nigga just start. They just started swinging. Like that, like the five part beast was a success to us then. It was rock, right? Yeah. Right now, they won't understand why the older demographic is tuned in and locked. Like the, the BT highest rated show for two years ago was the uh, the New Edition story. Then they right. went to Bobby Brown's story and hit him again. It was Abdul Williams was the writer was the writer showrunner for that project. And like, afterwards, they was waiting for him to tell him what he wanted to do next. I said, I got to go get this because he he, he going <laughs> he consecutive. He having hits. After That's him. insane. Is that a home run? I can tell that he can hit. <laughs> Let's go get some wing stuff. Sneak, what you want? Shit, I want to get me some lemon pepper. 
Fuck, I, I want drums only. I know you get that wing shit. I want drums only. TC, what you want? Flat legs, what we eating? Wingstop! <laughs> Yo, I just see what happened, son. Yo, you got this. Boy, this nigga right here is crazy. <laughs> oh shit! That was murder, wow. And roll the window up. That nigga that sweet. That nigga shit him butt. I would have ran big. That nigga was ready for all the smoke, huh? Bro, I swear to God, I swear to everything I love, bro. I do what I like see, bro. <laughs> Number somebody got knocked out. <laughs> somebody got bus driver uppercut. <laughs> While your child is having babies. Boy, every baby you've been having is aunties and uncles by the time they days old. They can't even enjoy being a fucking newborn. Please tighten up with that granny shit. You got me the bitch. I am a grandmother, but bitch, you are a papa who just got the paws. Put on here. That's insane. That's insane. <laughs> You rappers out there with security, man. I saw what just happened out there in Canada over that uh, with Rick Ross security dude. He got domed out. Listen, man, fellas, if you are a rapper and you have security, give them helmets. <laughs> just because they big, man, don't mean they don't don't get peeled, bruh. Homeboy got hit so hard he forgot he was security. He said his regular name, Roger. He got hit hard, bro, and he just was holding his head. He needed to eat. Rick Ross said, "Fuck it, nigga, I'm ready to crash the out." Was knuckling up out there in Toronto, man. Y'all gotta stop. Be <laughs> hey, like you. Us everywhere. Some people, it, it just don't work. Hey, you. Damn, Marlon Wayne's even jumped in this bitch. I'm not gonna read all that dumbass shit. Y'all can read it, y'all can, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Marlon Wayne. You know? I heard his shit just got robbed in Rob 3. Marlon Wayne, I heard that I heard his shit just got robbed. That's crazy, right? Know what you heard, what you think you heard, what you think you know. You don't know me like that. Don't be sending me no video of that man having a situation. You show his speaking on it, though. But no motherfucking Canada. No, this ain't that. I support that brother. Yeah. I salute that brother yeah. for being great at what Let he know what's up. And that's where that's at. You did. Y'all need to cut all that other, other whole ass shit out Fact, every time. nigga. It's a situation. Yeah, nigga. Brother, Let them know what's up, nigga. Speak your motherfucking mind, nigga. Yeah, you on the ass. Yeah.
Get out and get your mind right, Facts, bro. nigga. Instead Let's let niggas know what's up, nigga. Yeah, we standing out here, nigga. We don't give a fuck, nigga. They gonna run outside. <laughs> yeah, nigga. Yeah. Hit ass. Like I said, man, shout out to Nine Mag TV, man. They got, hey, they got all on this shit. We racked to him. We racked to Rick Ross getting into an altercation in Canada for playing Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us. I'm going to keep it real. These might be my LV. These are my favorite LV kicks of all time, right? Canada, the boss back. The boss is back. Vancouver, we finna shut this bitch down. You heard me? Them Luke Bell Air bottles on ice. That's that rum, insane. That Bumble Rum, a.k.a. the Louis Vuitton. Yeah. That's, that's on ice. insane, nigga. Who would have thought this beef would have been like down. this? The beef is really this heated. The next day, we go. Yeah, they got a go, bitch. Let them go. Looks like a motherfucking TKO. TKO. <laughs> there ain't no way. That's your karma, bitch. That's your Damn. karma, hoe. Let me tell you something, your plane was just a minute ago. You see what I'm saying? I'm yes, so glad crazy. they knocked you into a seizure, mother. You must be on them dot lanterns heavy. Cause boy, you would have went to shaking my heart. I started flirting when I seen the person in the face because I thought it was you. I don't want... Lord, I was like, I know goddamn where they... <laughs> he got his fat ass back, though, didn't he? He didn't want none of that Canadian bacon ass. But he got his fat ass back and let that security get that ass... And he got yes, that for you, boss. <laughs> Universe, finish doing your motherfucking work like I said. It ain't over. <laughs> yeah, Rick Ross have been having some bad luck. Bitch, I ain't gonna cap. Rick Ross been having some bitch, bad luck, man. Hey, goddamn Sam, you out there fighting like that? And that bitch ain't bought you a car yet. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I would have had the fucking WWE in that bitch, nigga. No the whole wrestling team in that motherfucker ready for smoke. Y'all bitches is crazy. Y'all bitches is crazy. Y'all bitches is crazy. That was a good one, though. <laughs> get up! Like me, me say, get up! Now he's like that. That's all get I was for, mother. Up. Get up! Get up! Get up! <laughs> Breaking news, breaking news. The whole MMG crew just got their ass washed. <laughs> they just got their ass, bitch. I'm not lying. Go to academics. Y'all don't woke me up with the bullshit. I'm like, why the fuck my phone keep going off like that? My WhatsApp, my text messages.
on this set. We tired of y'all niggas playing on our top. Oh, my God. Hey, Crody. This can't be from Miami. This shit make Miami look bad. Hey, bro. Crody. I know. Motherfucking well. Y'all was able to get some pictures on that jetty jet jet. Like, what the What the fuck? It's just. <laughs> I've been looking at this shit like four more times. I done watched it about 14. Let me go smoke my. That's wild. That's what you get for not standing up for him, not being there for him. Wow, wow, that wow. ain't all ass whoopers you go mother yeah. They gonna wop, 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 yeah, fuck them up, wop, 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 yeah, <laughs> check them up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. My people gonna get your ass. Yeah, my ancestors working on you, bitch. You didn't know. Bro, I don't know how she do a time move. That's... That tongue movement is too, too, is too, like, they do it too damn easy. Great grandma, grandma, granddaddy, do your work. Universe! Do your mother work. Man, y'all mind me, this can't be Canadians? Bitch, they got, you got, this can't be real, bro. Y'all done. <laughs> y'all watch, man. Y'all been sitting over there drinking all that bamboo, but, but I love whatever the she got y'all moving sword in the y'all on that on that lean. You over there on those zippies and shit and, and another whatever the fuck else they get on. And you're moving slow. God damn, Keisha was over there. I mean, they big dog up like a fucking Then he had a nerd to drop a video afterwards like he was good. <laughs> Ooh, I love that first smack. Blah! On his face. They not like us. Whoever that is, that white t-shirt, that cap on, he's throwing them bitches. Them Nadians throwing it. You hear me? Them Nadians took some mixed martial arts and shit. They had that big 500 pound security down there on his knees. Look at that dog skipping around like a lollygagger. Yes, they did. They put security on his knees, literally, and had him leaking. Kicking his ass. Yeah, they did. They almost a buddy, boy. That shit look at that. I almost thought it was weird. I had to look. Like, oh, no, they ain't doing them like this. Gosh, really? Damn, Willie Benetti. God damn, really, Willie. You let people fuck you around like this, Willie Dilly? Man, listen, man. I done went and got that jet and flew that bitch into the venue, man. Listen, boy, if I can't get a bitch back, boy, I'm going ham, man. Man, I done went and ran into the nearest militant mother. So around there crashed in that bitch and got all the out of that shit Canada up. That had to lock me up over again for the fuck Canada. That shit, bitch, I done got my jet. Told the pilot, slide this bitch into the tip of that mother. Wait, make Boy, sure this bitch is waiting for some shit to go shit. down. But taps up before we go back home, motherfucker. shit. What the fuck you mean? You can't go back home without nothing happening after that? Come on, man. How you gonna get back over there and get your kick back? That I done tore every soldier up over there and that mother Canadian mother. Man, listen, man. I ain't lying, dog. I ain't lying, dog. Fuck that shit, bro. That I had to pull them swords out and shit. Show me what they bought over there. Because boy, when went and tore up the mother city hall. Something. Something. My security got fucked up like that, bitch. We would have went on a riot. Bro, we would have came home till we tore up some big buildings around that bitch, dog. Man, Will, they swung on your fat ass. You ain't done. You stood your fat ass back, man. Your scary ass. You big fat scary ass stood back, bitch. I'm looking good now from this angle. Let that bitch got back, man. He tried to watch this shit again, dog. That fat bitch got on khaki green or something. Look at him and his stank breath ass all in his face with that blue ass breath. I'm glad they smacked the shit out your bitch ass. Damn. Boy, the ones who hate you the most are the ones you you used to fuck with. (laughs) Good job, 69 goals. (laughs) (laughs) 
Drake post about Canada after Rick Ross incident in Vancouver. Like never before, Africa woman, y'all the woman. Right, right. Happy Canada Day. <laughs> See, I'm rapping too. Happy Canada Day to everybody. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers to the whole country. Our day today. Sun's out. Dre. I can't, man. altercation in vancouver canada yo check this out tm tmz all you blogs everybody trying to figure out what happened in canada you might want to tap in with whack you know what i'm saying Man. i got the full story i got the people behind it what happened I got the people who did the movement and you know just because i don't want the wrong people you know um getting the blame for it it ain't really what y'all say it is. So all you blogs that want the direct interview with the individual up there in Canada, you know, he, he part of my team down here when I get to the East Coast. Um, he ain't going to talk to y'all, but he'll talk to y'all through me. You know, it's hard out here. He's trying to eat. Tap in with me. A lot of y'all got my phone number. If not, uh, hit R-A-N-B at R-A-N-N-B. DM and say, yo, we need that interview. And uh, she'll connect you to me. Uh, West up. The exposures. We strike again. <laughs> Insane, right? Brick baby. I got the call from the top. They told me it was time for you to go. Now you keep putting shit on your neighborhood. Your homies on 6-0. And, uh, you know, it's time. You yeah. violated Adam, snaking him behind his back. I got the call from up top. And today was your day. I started you off this morning. I've been hearing about that. I'm going to let the Keyways finish you off tonight. Everybody, stay tuned. You are about to see the demise of Brick Baby. Hey, Brick Baby, I ain't never seen a look is so scared in his life. Damn. All that tough shit you be talking is over with. Damn. Done data. No jumper will be accepted applications. Damn. You are done. You're done. Cook. Yeah. You are off when y'all see how scared this was first of all brick baby why would you put that on your hood and your and homies where it didn't happen you know nephew them ain't telling no lie brick baby <laughs> you look like I thought I saw a putty cat you should have seen the express on your face. Your shit was like this. <gasps> All right, car. All right, car. Brick. Ain't 
no way the six o is gonna let you side. You said big, you wasn't no good. You said your whole hood been sweeping shit up under the rug, all kind of other shit, and now they gonna see that you blew your whole setup and your homies up when you was getting your motherfucking ass collared up. Stay tuned. I can't drop the content. So nephew them. The Damo did his job this morning. The Keyway is doing their job tonight. Damo Keyway conversation. Rick Ross speaks out for the first time about his incident in Vancouver, Canada. My eye. <laughs> hey, man. That's Let me tell you something. When the first dude stepped up to Rose, the little short fat one that looked like uh, Bam Bam Bigelow from wrestling, when he stepped up and then I squat down his eyes and told him what I said. Basically, boy, if I hit you, I'm going to see everything you ate for the last two days. His dropped out of his ass. He never said another word. He never did nothing. He was a straight buster. Then the behind him said, I know MMA. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> and then I got hit with a drink. I'm still convinced I ain't on the punch room. Somebody said, Rose, the nigga tried to punch you. He, he hit you. I said, nah. He had to throw a drink because throwing a drink would have been way more disrespectful than screaming, I know MMA. <laughs> <laughs> Morning glory, morning glory is the biggest boss. You alive, a beautiful day to be alive. Coming from the most beautiful city in the world. 305 in my yayo. Toast to all the winners. <laughs> it should be a beautiful day today. Get you a bottle of Luke Bel Air. Let's do what we do today. It's the biggest. Progress being made brick by brick. Amazing investments. Excited, excited, baby. 305 in my yayo. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This is girlfriend. Fine with me. Boat tour. Um, I probably could do a little bit, but I don't really feel like it right now. It's very nice. I literally was just thinking about going to Tussie's like before I came back here and got on the phone. I was like, I'm gonna go to Tussie's. I need hookah. I just told him he need to get hookah on the boat. So I told the girl that'll be fly. But I need some hookah. That'll be fly. But I need some hookah. I don't have school tomorrow.
part either, so let me know. I just ate, so that's why I have this thing in my mouth, because I have braces, and this food is just like, uh... y'all requested to be in this live. There's no way you think I'm an Andrew and I don't like y'all. I cannot take the chance. Y'all gonna say some crazy ass shit. Hold on, I might do it just for fun. Let me see. You look crazy. I'm not adding you. What does sleeper mean? Oh, um, okay, yeah. What are you guys doing? Happy 4th of July. Well, 4th of July Eve. What are you guys doing? I'm bored. I don't feel like being out there with all the guys just talking, talking. Yo, my forehead is breaking out so bad because I have bangs now and horrible. Don't ever get bangs. Aw, thank you so much, young rich meat seven four one four. Thank you. I appreciate it. school tomorrow i'm really excited yeah, go to canada that. i finally get some time off yeah, go to canada freeze i don't know you. not like us hey you get some fun see that's bad about these hoes man realtor. sorry i'm not gonna add i already be bored than going to prison you. and dead something for us to really talk about go to canada and say not like us you know, head ass <laughs> you, that is insane i glad it go crazy than what it went what it went you know what i'm saying So I like to learn a lot of things Like my mind is always running and going So I really really like it It's relaxing. Oh, it's relaxing. words for Drake after Rick Ross scuffle in Canada. Uh, my boy Ross and his guys in 
Canada. That's unacceptable. Yeah. It's unacceptable. That shit crazy. Unacceptable. That don't happen. That don't supposed to happen. And what's more unacceptable is when Mr. Drake liked the post. That also is unacceptable. I expect more out of Mr. Drake. When there is violence, when there is violence, you don't condone it. You should be bigger than that. Mr. Drake, you should be bigger than that. When there's violence, you don't condone that. You don't like like no posters and all that because here's what happens. We, there's always a backlash of it all. Here's what happens when now you've inserted yourself, even if you were not involved. Oh, All right, back. So, man. <laughs> they don't try to pop, 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 pop. They don't try to come in that bitch like. I like to put this in a thumbnail. They don't try to come in that bitch like. A roar, rumble in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Boy, it was a royal rumble in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Um, That's the thing about this, man. And this is what I say, man. A lot of times, it don't make you real that you killed a nigga or that you um beat up a nigga or, or jump a nigga sometimes. It don't make you real. Because I say some of the most scariest motherfuckers, if they back against the wall, nigga, these niggas be the most, these niggas can be the most pussiest nigga in the world. These niggas can be the most bitch-made niggas in the world. If they back against the wall, anything can happen. That's for anybody, you know what I'm saying? So I don't really give Canada 100% of that W. Nigga, it was like about 100 of y'all motherfuckers out here. But I can't say y'all did stand on business for Drake. I don't know if it was 100% for Drake, nigga, or y'all just didn't like Rick Ross, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> we heard what the celebrities have to say, but that's my opinion, man. You know what I'm saying, Crip? Rick Ross, man, you know, you you put yourself in a predicament. You dig what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, you got security guards and damn fucking with you in um Canada. But nigga, you in fucking Canada. I don't care how much money on you got. I don't care how much you've been working out. I don't care what the fuck your name is, nigga. It can go down anywhere. I don't take I don't I don't I don't sleep on nobody. Nigga, I go to motherfucking London, nigga. I'm not sleeping on them niggas. I go motherfucking um Australia. I'm not sleeping on them niggas. I go motherfucking I go to the most whitest motherfucking suburb ass town in the fucking country, nigga. Motherfucking white man head ass, suburb ass, suburb ass, white pussy ass boy. I'm not sleeping on them because like I said, man, you don't never know how, what can happen when people really, like I said, when they back against the wall, when they want to fight you, or when they, or when they just scared of you. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I can say that Rick Ross didn't back down. You know what I'm saying? He was outnumbered, and bodyguards were outnumbered. They didn't back down. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, as I said, man, sometimes, man. People are, are looking for blood. Niggas are looking for anything of anything to bring a nigga down. You know what I'm saying? They just waiting. You know what I'm saying? They waiting for anything of anything to bring you down. These niggas are bloodthirsty. You know what I'm saying? So, you don't want to put yourself in that predicament of even letting these motherfuckers even get that chance or opportunity. Crip. Because... They want, they want a reason to be like, well, yeah, see, I have to put my hands on it. I have to do this. I have to do this. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, motherfuckers, man, when you put yourself in that position, man, with with all these fucking foreigners in Canada and shit, man, them crow these head ass, hey, you. <laughs> I still take Canada serious. 
serious? You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I, I won't sleep on them. I wouldn't put myself in that predicament. You dig what I'm saying? But at the same time, man, Rick Ross, you asking for it, Rick Ross. You know what I'm saying? You in a motherfucking whole different territory, nigga. Talking, playing. They not like us. Like, what are they doing, bro? You need more security. You need these big buff ass niggas. You need motherfucking. You need like some. You need Mark Henry and motherfucking uh, Aaron Donald type of niggas. In that bitch as your bodyguard. You can't have these little, you can't have no nigga like, you know what I'm saying? You need these big ass buff ass niggas who be on creatine and motherfucking any big ass protein shakes. <laughs> if you ain't got the blick on you. But you know how that goes, man. You dig? Um, I glad it didn't go far the way it did. It could have did, it could have went extremely worse than what it did. But, you know, at least we can come back and Rick Ross can laugh about it and we all can just laugh about it and move past it, and hopefully he don't put himself in a position to work, you know, if you go down like that again, so. Hey man, say man, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, make sure y'all like and subscribe, and we out this bitch, hood, non-side, career, gang shit. Like I said, I'm gonna get my video voice better, y'all, thank y'all, man. Hey dad, you know what I want, we link up, dog, this shit be legendary. You know this is instrumental, you the instrumental on it, so. Hold that camera.